hello Johnny and welcome to Super Saturday Vlogs Week 94 and it's quite an exciting and an important one and a action and an action packed one as well because we kick things off straight away with all of the action from the hike to Marlow from Cavisham to Marlow seven and a half hours this is most if not all of the stuff I'm gonna need and take with me with the on the hike to Marlow What's up guys? Got everything I need for the hike. Probably leaving in about 40 minutes. We're meeting at half 11 by the new footbridge by Christchurch Meadows. So yeah, as I said, got everything. Gonna leave soon. Reading to Marlow. About six to eight hours of walking. Including I think a five minute break every hour. <laughs> Oh, no! Shit! My socks are wet! Oh. <laughs> 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 Scenic shot, man. Clip on. The twat. The camp. This is what happened when we all reached the campsite, which was originally booked for us. Yeah, let me brighten that up a bit and slow it down a lot for you to see what that was, in case you just missed that.
So yeah, when we, got, when we got to the campsite, we were all like, wait, what? The campsite's flooded. And the organisers of the, or the people at the campsite rung, my, rung Sam up, who organised everything and booked the campsite and everything like that. Um, they rung him up ten minutes before we got there. Ten minutes before we got there. Rather than the day before we set off. Ten minutes before we got there, they were like, oh, the campsite you, you booked uh, flooded, so we're going to have to move you, move you to another campsite. And it's like, what? And the water um, went like, yeah, it went like halfway up my leg nearly. Nearly halfway up my leg. That's how deep it was. It was like, what? You know, I didn't feel much of that, obviously, because a if I'd have dropped my phone, it would have been screwed, and we needed, we were running short on time. Because, you did you notice how dark it was? We hadn't even reached the campsite then, the other campsite. Sorry, you know, obviously flooding and everything. Let alone put up the tents. However, once we got there, the guys set up the fire. And we got the barbecue going. Well, they got the barbecue going because I had to get help from Seb to put on my tent while putting up the tent because my back, shoulders, feet, legs were aching so much that I had to get a lift with a few others for the last five minutes of the walk and wait for everyone else to catch up because I was in so much pain and I couldn't even set up the tent on my own. So I had to get Seb to help me. Well, basically, I was just holding the light for him and he was doing all the work. You know, so thanks to, thanks to Seb for that. And I couldn't get out of my tent to um, get anything from the barbecue. So Sam kindly brought over two burgers, which I ate and filmed. Um, which the, the next clip you're going to see is a, of the two burgers. So thanks for, to Seb and Sam who helped out as well, because I was I couldn't I couldn't really move. So that was disappointing. And I couldn't also play Cards Against Humanity because I think in the Bradley's six man tent you remember Bradley Bradley's six man tent they were like basically everyone apart from me and like one or two others they played cards against humanity <laughs> so I was just overhearing them like damn if only everything wasn't hurting <laughs> So I've woken up after an okay night's sleep, 6.30am, and I've decided to do a, a self-heating meal, make myself that, all day breakfast. And then, look at that. The sun is slowly rising. Two more things to tell you about with regards to the hike. We were aiming, oh sorry, we've got like, we had like a month to raise a thousand pounds. A week has gone by and we've raised 150 pounds. So thank you to everyone who's donated and if you would, li would like to donate, then please follow the link to the website which will be in the description down below. And I've also got two photos which were taken by my friend Zach who was also on the hike. <laughs> season. There's another one. We said pre-match he was to a hat-trick. He might be on his way in a moment, Vitra. Quarter of the game gone. And it's Mayer, isn't it, that yeah. was sent off? Let's have a sure we'll check, check that in a moment, Mick. But let's watch Vitra's penalty. Vitra's going to take the penalty which he's just won. 
here he comes now, right footed, save, pathetic penalty from a player who is absolutely, oh what on earth are you doing, that is disrespectful to the Reading fans, that is absolutely pathetic, dear, dear oh dear, and not, he's doing his thing of looking back to the skies, I mean good, Mick just take it away, it's well it just, unfortunately, it just sums up Vidra's season in a Reading shirt. Good cross from Kogan. Here's McShane, and they bundle it off the line and hits the post, and it's just not going to be your day when that sort of thing happens. The man on the line tripped over the ball, spun it onto the inside of his post, and that allowed Amos to recover, but McShane must have thought he'd given Reading the points with that header. Here's Ola John from distance. Ola John scores, and Ola John with three points for Reading. Fabulous goal. Well, Come he's on! Got a cracker at Boom! Field in a defeat. Now he's got a cracker at Bolton uh, in a victory. That oh, has been a tortuous afternoon. Yes. Off. Has he yeah, taken his shirt. shirt off? Pathetic. A sensational goal. 25 yards out, spun and fired it past Ben Amos. It's heartbreak for Bolton. Well, that's it for the vlog, Johnny. Hope you've all enjoyed Super Saturday Vlogs Week 94. And follow the link if you would like to donate for that great cause. Um, and also, the hike was worthwhile, even though there was a lot of pain and frustration at times. So, we we'll have to end on a very sad note, but it's quite important. So, thank you for watching, and I'll just leave you all with this.